Hi friends, in this video I am talking about management of a renal disease patient in dental office. I am talking about uh, chronic renal failure. Uh, it's a progressive disease characterized by a gradual restriction of nephrons and a consequent reduction of kidney function. Just an introduction. Oral health represents a potential determinant of health outcomes in patients with end-stage renal disease. Adults with end-stage renal disease have severe oral disease than the general population and they have dental caries, periodontitis and poor oral hygiene. Oral pathologies are associated with, associated with inflammation and malnutrition which may accelerate cardiovascular events in ESRD. Moreover, infection from a dental source is a potential threat for both organ transplant candidates and recipients. And what are the general conditions? Just a just in brief, chronic renal failure is a progressive disease characterized by a gradual destruction of nephrons and a consequent reduction of kidney function occurring over a few months or years. And what are the oral manifestations? Uh, pallor, echimosis of mucosa, petechiae, hemorrhage, serostomia, halitosis, uremic stomatitis and poor periodontal health. I'm ju just showing a picture of pallor of oral mucosa. And it's a picture of hemorrhage, echimosis, xerostomia, it's dry mouth, uremic fetter, it's metallic taste due to high urea content in saliva, a picture showing uremic stomatitis. And they have periodontal, poor periodontal health like pocket formation, gingival recession, tooth and bone loss. They have lower rate of caries. It's due to antibacterial effect of a higher urea concentration. Then what are the general considerations for dental management? Avoid nephrotoxic drugs like tetracyclines, aminoglycosides. Before treatment, what all we have to consider? If he is a dialysis patient, determine dialysis schedule and treat on day after dialysis. Monitor BP during procedures uh, due to frequent hypertension. For hemodialysis patients, communications with the nephrologist is highly recommended to know the stage of pathology and medication prescribed. Identify arm with vascular access and type. Avoid taking BP measurement or injection or medication on this arm. Consider routine serology for HBV, HCV, HIV antibody. Consider antibiotic profile access when appropriate. And during treatment, what all we have to consider? Perform a thorough history and physical examination for presence of oral manifestations. Eliminate potential sources of infection and bacteremia. Use adjunctive hemostatic aids during oral and periodontal surgical procedures. After treatment. Use post-surgical hemostatic agents. Consider use of post-operative antibiotics for traumatic procedures. Adjust dosages of post-operative medications according to extent of renal failure. Ensure routine recall maintenance. Now, what all antibiotics we can prescribe? Penicillins, clindamycin and cephalosporins can be administered at the usual doses, though the dosing interval should be prolonged. Friends, this is the important point. Then about analgesics. Paracetamol is the non-narcotic analgesic of choice in application to episodic pain. Aspirin possesses antiplatelet activity and as such should be avoided in uremic patients. In the CDs such as intomethazin, ibuprofen, naproxen and sodium diclofenac, dose reduction or even avoidance is indicated in the more advanced stages of renal failure because they inhibit prostaglandins and generate a hypertensive effect. Benzodiazepines can be prescribed without the need of dose adjustment, though excessive sedation may occur. Narcotic analgesics 
are metabolized by the liver and so usually do not require dose adjustments. Friends, I am sharing only the important points. You have to be thorough with the topic and refer the relevant books. Thank you for watching.